Okay, so this is the eye hospital. I'm going to take you on a tour of all the different departments, starting from the ground floor. But first, let me just show you my property here. So, there is my property. Aerial view of the swing there. We have some bark on the ground there and beautifully maintained gardens. And there is the roof bedroom. And here is my veranda, the back of the property. Just a quick tour of the house. I have my reading material here. Is my bedroom looking out to the neighbouring property there and through to the living area as my flat screen and importantly I have our kitchen here okay, so that's my property I think we should go and have a little look at the eye hospital here. I'll just show you the aerial shot. So we have the area for the ambulances there, making emergency visits. Okay, we have a couple of entrances. This is the south entrance. Okay, and even higher. is a much higher aerial shot as if we were a drone okay and that's the surrounding environment and village you can see we're right on the ocean here okay and there's the row of properties in my street so that's enough in terms of the external areas and the periphery so a little look inside the eye hospital so we have the main reception area here with all the records kept there Just going through here, we have the main waiting area here for the patients awaiting their appointments with the doctors and nurses. We have a hospital TV here, schedule of diagnosis murder, murder she wrote, Columba, Quincy Emmy. And breaking bad today. That is the schedule. So it is quite a complex and intricate building, like any normal hospital. But let's see if I can locate the main rooms. So we have a staff area here for relaxation, unwinding, reading, taking a break. So that's the private area. Standard generic hospital artwork there. We proceed to the west wing so we have our first room here this is the OCT and visual fields room here so this is where you'll have your peripheral vision checked and scans performed at the back of the eye 
important room there. Okay. And further along. Let's just go out this way. More generic hospital artwork there. We have the room for diabetic screening so any diabetic who has to visit the hospital will come here have their drops have their vision checked first then have the drops to dilate the pupils and then they'll have their photographs taken the back of the eyes where we can check for any changes associated with diabetes so this is the screening and photography room there okay I'm just going back this way Come down here I think we just have the research and development room there some more for the scientists performing important research okay and here we have a staff library okay. lots of material that can be loaned out to the staff of the hospital so have our very own library for them here okay and we rely on donations from the public as well all right some interesting artwork here and more relaxation seating areas there and a couple of mahogany tables there okay let's have a little look this way just unoccupied areas further down here let's have a little look I think these are just the toilets don't really want to see in the toilets do you? Okay, further down here do we have some consultation rooms? Looks so we have two. This is where you shall see the ophthalmologist. This is the consulting room. Have a slit lamp seating area and a cabinet containing some ocular drugs, that kind of thing. Some beautiful lighting here. Whoops. Okay, got a bit crazy there. Okay, so that's consulting room one. Interesting decor. Let's see how that compares to consulting room two. Which is here. A slightly different interior design there. Slightly different configuration of the room. But same equipment. Like so. Excellent. I think that's everything on the ground floor. Now if I can find the second entrance here, there we go. 
So we have an entrance here to the east. And as you come into this area, this happens to be the paediatric ophthalmology reception area. This is the area behind the desk where the staff can take their breaks, if they wish. Have a read. And conveniently, this area here flows up here to the area where the children await to see the paediatric ophthalmologist so this is their main waiting area where they're sent up we try to keep the area fun and exciting colorful so we have some games there we have some spooky artwork here here and here More areas for fun and games there and there and we like to ensure that there's lots of light coming through into the area here so we have this section and this section here to brighten up the place here we have the refraction room so this is where the children will come after having their drops in to have their ocular prescription checked you can see the duochrome chart there there so we have two areas for refraction storage areas there Out. It's mainly the optometrists who will be performing the refractions. In terms of the ophthalmologist, I think we have two consulting rooms for them. It's the first one here. Have a little look at this room for the children. See how bright and fun it is. This is the, what we call, honey covered floor. We have a testing area here. We have enchantment here to keep the children excited and happy. We have some beautiful illumination devices here. And just some storage areas there. That is consulting room one. In terms of the second room, this is the ocean covered floor. And quite a contrast to the first room. Have a little look. Very fun and exciting. Okay, now if we go right here, I believe we do have more testing rooms. Okay, we have the area where the eye nurses operate this is orthoptics where we check your eye movements and 
convergence, that kind of thing. Check things that could be affecting your binocular vision. So we have the testing area here. Okay, this is the slime covered floor. So we like to say to the children. Okay, a little testing area there. Most of the work tests occur in this area with the orthoptist. Okay, the occluders, fixation sticks are stored that area okay so that's orthoptics now for our adult patients I think if we come this way up the steps this leads us to the second floor So ocular treatment, ocular surgery. This is where the adult patients are sent after checking in on the ground floor. This is the waiting area. Reception desk. Now, as you know, there are various roles that the ophthalmologists carry out, different parts of the eye, different training required. So specialist area here is vitreoretinal. This is the consulting room for any vitreoretinal issues and surgery. It. No appointments today. And some lovely views there of my property. Okay, and down here, patient files behind the reception desk. We have a hospital pharmacy here and to the back we have the pharmacy consultation room here. So pharmacist and patient can discuss privately there any issues. Here is the pharmacy. And one of my favourite areas in the hospital is the secret or private pharmacy break room here. Have a little look how cosy this is. Have a cosy little room here. Okay, some comfortable seating. Beautiful exposed brickwork there reading material here and here and some drug storage there so that is the private and cosy break room there okay let's leave the pharmacy now just show you some of the other consultation rooms, consulting rooms. Okay, to the right here. We have the area for cataract surgery. There we go. So cataract surgery is the most commonly performed procedure for the eye hospital. So we have three, four, four areas for cataract surgery there. OK. 
Okay. And back down here. We have this storage area here. Her ocular drugs. Things such as steroids. Anesthetic. Our dilation drops. Pilocarpine as well. Myotic. That's all stored in this locked room here. Over here have the ophthalmologist's reading area here. Two entrances. There, that's their reading area. I'll just quickly show you inside. Lots of literature, articles there, and again, fabulous views. Okay, what other rooms do we have? Squint surgery area here, going to four bays. And down here, oh, we have our contact lens fitting areas. For example, people with keratoconus come and have their contact lens fitted here. Another room there, let's see what that is. Oh yeah, that's just a continuation of the contact lens area. Now this zone here is our contact lens storage bank. That's where we store all our soft and hard lenses. Just in this space here. Okay, lots of contact lenses. So we can usually meet the needs of the patient quite comfortably. Okay, round the back. We have a room for the Ophthalmologists practice their putting. They are avid golfers. There. This is where they can have a little bit of downtime. And this is their relaxation grotto. The very own garden. Incorporated here. Again, top to bottom glass windows for taking in the views and allowing plenty of light into this space which obviously the plants require okay and further down Coming towards the end of the tour now. Have a little look. This room here should be for macula. So that's where we treat our wet macula degeneration cases. Injecting the eyes, checking vision, that kind of thing. This room here is for our chief ophthalmologist, Mr. Fotherington. That's his office. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we've missed a particular area. Looking for cornea. So we carry out our corneal work, such as graphs. There. And 
cornea too. There are two areas for that. And I've told you we haven't missed anything else. I think we've covered all the ophthalmology departments there. Ah, oh, we have ocular plastics as well. There. We're dealing with lids and lashes. Any abnormalities, such as interning or outturning lids, for example. We should have a glaucoma unit somewhere. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the glaucoma department carry out things such as trabeculectomies, iridotomies, iridectomies, that kind of thing, treat patients glaucoma. So I think that's the tour completed. I'm going to leave you just to have a little wonder about, about yourself, if you so desire. But I'm going to go now. I shall see you on the next ASMR Minecraft.